welcome to the Che of Chicha channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. Today is the rest of our Kyoto day. If you missed the first part, go check it out. It's on my channel. First, it's time to hail a cab. Today, we are going to Eigamura, otherwise known as Toei Kyoto Studio Park. Our cab driver was super funny. He chatted with us the whole way about politics, his love of Western film, and also he told us that Eigamura hasn't really been popular with the tourists lately. <laughs> and now we're inside Eigamura. There were a ton of Kamen Rida outfits on display, but we'll get back to that later. Eigamura literally stands for Ega Movie Mura Village, so it's Movie Village. It is an actual studio where many movies are filmed every year. You guys know me, I love historical fiction, and Edo period period pieces are no exception. Check out this Meiji era cable car. You don't want to get your picture taken like this? <laughs> You can get a pretty cute <laughs> in the Kamen Rider <laughs> photos. That's cute. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the Shiba face. <laughs> like the North face. <laughs> So just to give you guys a little information, it's about $20 to enter the park and there are some sections that were closed off probably for filming, but I really thought this was well worth the price. There's a lot to do here and in the back of the park they have this anime evangelion section. If you're an anime fan, I think you'll really enjoy this. Check out this fun play area slash photo spot. You can pretend to be a ninja on top of a roof. For an additional fee, you can have professional photos taken at the Evangelion photo spot. It's like he's holding onto you in his hand. You can also pay to walk around in Edo period costumes and have your photo taken. That's why you'll see some of these types of people walking around. A few are actually actors though. Shuriken? They also offer a number of ninja related shows, some for adults, some for children. Very cool. We didn't get to catch one this time because we were on a bit of a time crunch, but it looked like a lot of fun. If you're into Evangelion, they had a ton of merch as well. Let me show you some of it.
They also had Evangelion curry. I thought this was really fun. I regret not eating this because, well, you'll see. I thought that this cup holder was one of the coolest pieces they had. Instead of the awesome themed curry, we ended up eating at an udon and tempura restaurant. It was probably the worst Japanese food I've ever had in my life. I am not even exaggerating. The soggiest, most disgusting tempura don I've ever seen. I couldn't even finish it and my mom's udon was cold. When she asked them to heat it up, they basically made it burning hot to prove a point. Really rude, um, wouldn't recommend. Theme park food is often bad, right? But I just wanted to help you guys out. Maybe the Instagrammable curry would be a lot more fun and satisfying than that mess. Started raining a little bit. <laughs> They did have other snack and dining options in the back of the park. I went to one that was more towards the front, so if you care for my opinion, avoid the front and maybe try the back if you must eat here. Here are some of the recent films that have been produced here. We had fun walking around, now let's go check out the shops inside.
collect a lot of vintage and retro repro items and Hueki is an old glue company. However, they have a really cute mascot and they make other products now because it's so adorable. I ended up getting the moisturizer and they had a really fun glue shaped moisturizer as well. You would think that there would be glue in here, but it's actually hand cream. Now we're back towards the entrance of the studio park. They have a Kamen Daira anniversary display going on. It was really, really cool. Tons of different Kamen Daira era outfits, motorcycles, and more. If you didn't know, Kamen Daira is a super popular action hero in Japan, much like the Power Rangers. This show has been going on since the 70s. So I wasn't a huge Kamen Daira girl growing up, although I think it's really cool. I was always an Ultraman girl. Are you guys familiar with Japanese superheroes? And if so, who do you enjoy? I will give props to Kamen Daira for having pink superhero outfits. Ultraman definitely needed a pink outfit for sure. Now, to always be real with you guys, I obviously would never eat here again, but I would visit again. I would love to see the shows. The actors walking around were really sweet, and they had a lot of amazing displays going on. We had a blast at Egamura, and it was not the ghost town that our cab driver said it would be, so check it out if you have the chance. Now let's head to the Kyoto Disney Store you know I had to visit. The Kyoto Disney Store was really big and really packed. It was two stories and filled with the most adorable Disney merch ever. Ah, I can't get enough. As I mentioned in my first vlog of this series, go check it out by the way. We are actually in Japan to do some medical related things for myself and also to get some eyeglasses for my mother. So yeah, here she is doing that. We are coming back to the Disney store. That's what it looks like from the outside. And yes, it was raining the whole time we were in Kyoto. Here we are back at the Disney store. Of course, I had to pick up a few things here. I will show you guys in some shorts in the future but they had a lot of interesting items like this cup noodle series. They had a lot of sporting good collaborations and just in general, the kawaii, very pastel -y, wonderful Disney merch. Oh my gosh, how cute are these Peter Pan themed earrings? You guys know I have a weakness for Disney merch, especially Japanese Disney merch. And they had the cutest little tea set and glass jewelry holder. I really wish I could have taken these items home with me. These were some of my favorites, but there was just no way. Here are some hidden Mickeys. Gotta love the attention to detail. The Shibuya Disney Store is celebrating its 30th anniversary and so they have these exclusive items. And here's the Japan exclusive University items. We did some shopping and now it's time to head back to Osaka because that's where our hotel's at. As it is the evening, we decided to step into Hankyu to grab some dinner. Whenever I'm in Japan and come across a Gramercy New York patissiere, I absolutely have to stop and grab a few cakes. Uh, 
As you can see, train stations in Japan are always super busy. I am ready to get back to the hotel and eat some of this delicious food. We got our sushi, which I'll show you in a minute, but here's a nice little view from my hotel room. Osaka's very pretty at night. It's a little sad that we only got to spend one day in Kyoto, but either way, I'm glad we were able to visit. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of the video was. Stay tuned because we're going to Tokyo next and I'm excited to show you around. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and boop that subscribe button so you get notifications for the upcoming videos. Stay well guys, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye!